11 cheerleading worlds here at the HP Fieldhouse. Next up, the international division. There are more than 60 countries competing here this weekend, but across the globe, now more than 90 countries have some form of all-star competitive cheer. Well, in this division, we're still seeing the American teams on top, but now we're seeing the other countries truly embrace all-star cheerleading, improving their skills and their overall performances. We bring a little more flavor from Puerto Rico. We have a lot of energy. We like we love our dance section. Our style is cleanness. In Thailand, right, basically we are con uh, focused more on pyramid. In the United States, I feel like everybody's just all skills, very aggressive in their approach, and it's all about the difficulty. We've kind of taken styles from a few different countries to, to try and mix it into one, to one that really suits us. University of Bangkok, their style of stunning is just mind-boggling. I mean, they make it look so easy. The girls just very gracefully get to them every single time. We've definitely been taking notes of the U.S., which it definitely was a, you know, difficult stunts. And, and more on, on tumbling side as well. Then also looking at uh, teams like Finland, which come with great creativity. We want to see all the teams because we learn from each, from each one. That is why we are here, you know, to share uh, uh, the same sport. We're so proud to be here. We're so proud to, like, present our, our country. It's so Having cheerleaders everywhere is just something we've never seen before. And seeing all the teams around in the different countries really is what has been fantastic. This is International Open Co-Ed Level 6, the top level of all-star cheer. Now, Jim Time is the top qualifying U.S. team in this division. However, the team from Thailand put up the best score in the semifinals. Three teams from each country can qualify here for finals. That's the limit. Well, you'll see some outstanding tricks like that. They're allowed to flip the basket tosses. Very difficult standing fulls. Ball up, heel stretches. You'll see a lot of traditional co-ed stunting in this division. Rewinds to the top. Very difficult back flip landing on those hands. And a creative transition out. You can see the tremendous strength these stunts take. They flip them from the floor all the way to the top and then, of course, have to bring them back down. Well, some of the criteria here in level six, there are collegiate-aged kids on these squads. In fact, for gym time, almost everybody on this squad is either a current cheerleader at the University of Louisville and or a former cheerleader. So a lot of experience on this team. Move into that running, tumbling. See combination passes with full twists and double fulls. Arabian. Wow. Nice full double twisting baskets there, right to the music. Handspring to the floor, one and a half, little struggle there, pulled it out. Another area you can see, they build two and a half high and rewind to the top. Little balance check there. Wow, two one one pyramid, very difficult right there in the center. One guy holding the top of that pyramid up. Louisville, Kentucky's gym time. Let's take another look. One of the things at level six they can add in is the flipping baskets. You can see a kick double full there. Very nice. And those co-ed stunts we talked about, flipping right in. See the single base takes a tremendous amount of strength. Showing great flexibility on their scorpions. A look backstage at gym time. One of the American teams in this division.
The only country with more than one team in the finals here. Bangkok University representing the team from Thailand here, hoping to surprise some people. An amazing routine. Let's take a look. They are known around the world for their pyramids, and that's why right there. Wow. Dropped it down, front flip right to that straddle at the top. And they're not done. <laughs> Creative transition. Looks like they're falling, but they're actually building. Rewind to the top. And the crowd goes wild because every person in this building is a cheerleader and knows how difficult that <laughs> stuff is. Their assistant coach, Tay, the only person traveling with them who speaks English and really has been working with this team throughout, trying to keep them connected to everything happening. Wow, creative transition there, bringing that tumbling pass back. Every one of these athletes were so excited just to be on this floor. Nice wow. cartwheel transition down. They come right back. I mentioned Tay earlier when I was talking to him. I said, how do you learn all this stuff? And how do you really take it all in? He said, YouTube. They watch all the American college teams and try to emulate them and put something extra in. Well, now they're starting to set the trends in cheerleading. There are American teams watching their pyramids, trying to build what they're doing. Watch this transition. They build it in, bring it into the center. They step up. This girl right here in the center holding two girls by herself. Nice. The only previous international team to medal in this division was China. Back in 2008, they took the bronze. Oh, the support they're getting from the fans. Look at the crowds. Finishing it out with those baskets. Wow. Now that was fun to watch. The energy here is amazing. Well, you know, we mentioned how these pyramids stand out in this competition, and this is why. Watch this front flip right up to that straddle sit. And to be honest, it was like their routine was packed with pyramids because they drop them down. You think they're done, but they bring it right back up and top it off with a rewind to the very top. Following gym time is tough, but boy, they pulled it off. Speak it up, gym time taking the floor. What a display of international sportsmanship. The energy, the electricity in this building, unbelievable.